Hey everybody, just making a follow-up video to a video that I posted uh, last year at this time, back in September. Last summer, in the summer of 2022, I picked up a pair of Shen Gear waders and I made a subsequent video about them leading up to the 2022 duck season, just kind of my first impressions of what I thought of the waders. So this past season, I hunted pretty much from early teal season in September all the way up until about January, kind of across the Midwest and, and kind of the, the, the far reaches of the Southern uh, Mississippi Flyway. So, like I said, I hunted all the way from North Dakota down to Arkansas and a little bit, bit of everywhere in between. And I wore my Shen Gear waders a lot. You know, I primarily just hunt water. So it was a really good test to try out the Shen Gear waders. <clears throat> I have come from kind of those higher end uh, technical waders, you know, like Sika waders and, and some other subsequent brands that make those kind of those higher end um, lifetime guarantee waders. And in the summer of 2022, I thought I'd give these a shot. So I'm just making up a follow up video to kind of see how I like the waders through the season of the 2022, 2023 season. And so far, um, you know, through that whole season, I really enjoyed wearing them. They fit me really well. I feel they're very durable. And kind of a couple of the features in the video I made previous, I really found that I really like those features going into the season and throughout the season. So the first one that I really liked was the boots. The Shen Gear boots are out of this world. I mean, it's like you're walking on clouds. You know, there were days where I'm standing in my bolt blind on a hard aluminum floor for, you know, sometimes six, eight hours, and uh, my feet never got sore. Um, they're, and that, that is one thing that they're very comfortable. And additionally, they're very warm. You know, I never had cold feet. And I'm someone that I would put myself on the spectrum that I'm a little more susceptible to getting cold feet. And uh, they performed flawlessly. I really didn't have any sweating. I wore a really good pair of high quality, uh, merino wool socks and was very comfortable um, no matter how cold it was. You know, for instance, we were down in Missouri just before Christmas. And if you kind of remember back to uh, just before Christmas of 2022, we had like a big Arctic blast kind of push in from the Dakotas all the way down to kind of almost the far reaches of Louisiana. And we were smack dab in the middle of that in Missouri. And there were some mornings where, I mean, you'd go in the water and you'd come out and your waders were just like flash froze. You know, you could almost take them off and, and like make them stand up and look like a person was standing in them without someone actually being in them. And my feet were nice and toasty warm. And like I said, the boots are really comfortable. And the other thing that I really liked about them was is they don't get hard. That plastic is very pliable. So if it gets cold, that plastic doesn't break down and get really hard and, and it's not flexible. Kind of the other thing that really kind of jumped out at me with these waders is the yoke or the harness, the, the webbing, the straps. You know, there's no, there's really no give or elastic like your traditional, you know, $100, $200 pair of waders you buy that have that really, uh, that webbing that goes over the straps is really stretchy. And it seems that after a half a dozen times wearing it, it's stretched out. The webbing on these waders is some really heavy duty webbing and there's really no stretch. So you can really kind of tailor that fit on these waders to how high or how low you want the webbing to be. And they have kind of a slotted, uh, slotted slot here to, to put your hook and loop in it. Now, <clears throat> we went down after Christmas to Arkansas and we kind of had an in-between day of hunting and we decided to drive over to Memphis where Shen Gear is headquartered. And this was my first time there. It was first time kind of shaking anyone's hands there and going to the store. And I can tell you what, they, when people say they are customer focused, you can hear people talk about that online. But let me tell you, when you walk through that door, you feel like they appreciate their customers 110% period. We walked in the door, they didn't know who we were. They didn't even know we owned a pair of their waders and they were offering us something to drink, asking us how the hunting was. They weren't trying to push their products on us. They were really friendly, very professional. Um, they even showed us around. And then I went into the truck and grabbed my waders to just kind of have them look over. Uh, kind of the, the zipper was getting a little sticky. They lubed that up. They actually brought me back uh, into, the, into kind of behind the shop and showed me how they repair them. And it's really impressive 
um, everything that they do there to these waiters. And they are 110% customer focused. And I'm gonna go full disclaimer here. I don't, I'm not sponsored by them. I never got anything free from them. These two pair of waiters you see right here, I paid full price. So in the summer of 2022, I bought this uh, bottomland pair and wore them for that 22-23 season. Then while I was at the Shen store there after Christmas, I saw that they had uh, one of their solid colors, which was shadow for 2022 in a size, in a tall size. Now, I didn't know that they had a tall size until I was standing there and I saw it in the box. So I tried it on and to be completely honest with you, I'm 6'1", about 175 pounds. And I feel that the tall waders fit me a little better than kind of the regular uh, chassis waders. I'm, uh, like I said, I'm 6'1", 175 pounds, and I wear a, a boot size nine and a medium uh, waiter. So these shadow ones here are a nine medium tall, or they call it XL. Now, I have seen some people kind of squawk about they wish the shoulder straps were a little adjustable, and I brought that up when I was there, and they make these little extenders that you can put on the straps, so in a sense, it gives you a little more latitude to adjust the yoke and make it uh, a little more comfortable if you were bending over, they can sometimes bind. So it's a good kind of workaround, uh, you know, and if you call them and say, hey, can I get these? They'll just ship them out to you, no problem. But going back to going to the Shen store, it was really cool. You know, I'm a kind of guy when I buy something, I like to touch and feel it. And prior to buying these bottom lamp pair, I had never touched Shen gear waders. So it was kind of a, a, a shot in the dark buying them. And then once I got them, I was really impressed with them. But you know, at the store, we got to try on a lot of their other apparel items. You know, they got a lot of stuff that has come out for the 23, 24 season. And I can just tell you the people that are there, they're hunters. They all hunt, they all go, in, go out duck hunting. You know, uh, they're, they're into the sport. They're, uh, they're a user of the sport, of the gear that they make. So that's really cool. So while I was there, like I said, I picked up these shadow pair. Um, you know, people might say, why do you need two pair of uh, $1,100 waders? And the reason is, is when I'm 800 miles away from home or 10 hours away from home, you just have to have another pair of waders. It is almost as important as having a shotgun when you go out hunting. Um, you know, I always carry a backup shotgun with me when I go out on trips, wherever I go hunting. And if you get a hole in your waders, it is literally a trip ruiner. You might as well turn the truck around and go home. For example, I was out on the East Coast about eight years ago. My waiter sprung a hole in them. And thankfully, I was able to overnight a pair of waiters uh, from like Cabela's or some big box store. But still, I lost about a day or two days of hunting. Um, and Again, you know, it was kind of a, a circus trying to get those waders to me uh, way out on the tip of Cape Cod out in Massachusetts. So from then on, I learned that, you know, because these are such a fundamental foundation piece of a waterfaller's lineup, you got to have two of them. Um, and uh, it's, it's really cool. But kind of just my year in review of these waders is they really hit it out of the park. Shengir is a waterfall hunting company that is designed for waterfall hunters and they are waterfall hunters. So they know what we do day in and day out. Um, so another thing is while I was out teal hunting here uh, in September of 2023, I noticed in my left knee, I had a little water coming in and uh, I shot an email down to them and, and within a day, they had sent me uh, the information to send them back. And I'm, I think it was my fault how these waders, it looks like it's a little slice so it must have grabbed the edge of uh, when I was taking them in and out of my pickup or something like that. So, but I'm sending those waders in as soon as I'm done with this video. And uh, it sounds like they'll have them turned around in a week pretty quick before our season opens here in Wisconsin. But like I said, I'm pretty impressed with these waders. You know, the two features, if I had to kind of just wrap this video into kind of a 30 second elevator pitch of why I like them is the boots. They're super comfy, super warm. I also like the yoke, the strap here that goes over your shoulders. It's comfortable, it's functional, and it really makes you feel like that chassis of the waiter is really connected to you. And then just kind of a bonus thing is the fabric of the waiters. You can definitely tell when you put these between your fingers that it is a high quality piece of material and it's a high quality garment, garment um, to wear out when you're going out into the marsh or into the trees duck hunting. So overall, really impressed with them. 
if you're on the fence about getting them, I would highly recommend them. Uh, you know, I've tried a bunch of different waders all the way from a hundred dollar pair of waders all the way to these waders and everything in between. Uh, you know, all the waders that have that lifetime guarantee. I've tried them, I've worn them, I've had to go do the warranty on them all. And uh, by far, I feel that Shen gear is, is where it's at right now in the waterfall hunting space. So really happy to get out in the marsh this year uh, in my Shen gear waders and uh, get chasing some ducks here for the fall. Thanks everybody, we'll see you later.